Hello, what this video is going to show today <coughs> is a quick demonstration of how we're going to bleed a typical central heating radiator. As most people know, a uh, central heating radiator is filled up with water. And there are two types of systems, <coughs> basically, which uh, supply the water to radiators. The first one is a vented system. And that is a small tank, which is usually situated in the loft somewhere, which gravity feeds the system with water. And this is a continuous feed. The second type, more common now, is a sealed or pressurised system, usually better known as a combi boiler system, which is manually filled. You have a filling point, uh, usually underneath the boiler, which you have to manually fill. But in each system, the way the water enters the radiator is exactly the same. You have two pipes which feed the radiator. One is a flow and one is a return, which can be situated on either side, depending which way it was plumbed in. So as you fill the system, the water comes into the pipes into the radiator and you've got a pocket of air here which the water is trying to force its way up and compress against the air. Now the air has to be released from the top to let the water rise. Now there's always uh, fitted a, an air vent valve on one end on the top left or right hand corners of the radiator. <coughs> so as it's filling what you would typically do is undo the air vent um, screw here and hear a hissing noise, that's the air coming out as the water rises. And when, when, the, when you actually get water coming out, then you close it off and then you know the radiator is full of water. Now if you are getting cold uh, pockets of cold spots above the top of your radiator, it is 99% going to be air trapped, so you need to release that. But bear in mind on the pressurised system, you need to maintain the pressure manually underneath the boiler as you're doing it. Anyway, this is just a quick demonstration to just show you what is, what is actually happening in the radiator. Now what we've got here is a, is a transparent tube which is connected to the system and the radiator. So you can see now, the, with this marker here, the water level is actually up to there. So we've got a pocket of air trapped here which we need to release. And I'm just going to show you what happens when we introduce water into the radiator. Now this is a test rig. So I've got it uh, piped up to cold water mains. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to release the air vent screw here. And then I'm going to turn the water on to bring water into the radiator. And you can see now the actual level is rising to here. Now when it gets to the top on this line here, which is level with the bleed nipple on this side, you're going to see what actually happens. Ready? A second now, there you go. You've got the water coming out so you know it's full. So basically, that's just a demonstration to show you what's happening when you are releasing air out of the radiator and the water's coming in. Now don't forget, it's a very important point that, that, that I mentioned there, which is on a sealed or pressurised system, you must maintain the pressure in the boiler as you're bleeding the radiators, otherwise the pressure will just drop to zero. So there you go, that's just uh, a quick demonstration really on what happens when you're filling up your um, and bleeding your um, radiators. Thanks very much for watching.